screens, everybody, will kind of... Greetings everybody, welcome to Comedy of Games Online, welcome back to more Dust and Elysian Tale. Last time, we made it, well, we started making our way through this area, and we're at Denim Village now. And we have a, sh a shop again. Which has the same stuff for sale, but we can see if we have any new materials, which this time we actually do. We've got Slimy Spike. Now catalog. We got slimy coat again. Now cataloged. We got thorn tentacle and thorn spark. So we have. Oh, and we have another one that we apparently got a while ago that I didn't notice. Beast spear. We actually needed for a quest. And that should be everything cataloged, at least as far as what we have now. Your trend. So let's just keep moving forward. I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such... hatred. Be careful, Dust. Yuri. Let's just move forward and see what there is to see. So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people! You dare speak to me of innocence? when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. <laughs> I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! Die! Starting off this battle against you. He already seems to be pretty ruthless. Whoa, Jesus. And conveniently enough shops are restocked, but anyways. As you can see, he definitely has the quality of a boss fight. Very strong, and, well, there's that, he is very strong. And you cannot let your guard down around him. Because he shoots fireballs, and that's pretty much what he does for the most part, is shooting fireballs as well as like making columns of fire. Whoa! Just like that. Ah, come on. Let's equip it. That's an item. Alright, 
right, we seem to have dealt roughly about half of his health. So we still have a bit of a ways to go before we fully take him down. Die! He does not want to die. Ah! Yeah, you gotta be ready whenever he starts to send down those pillars of fire. That's usually his most devastating attack, but he also does have his fireballs so that you gotta be careful of. Alright. Very, very close. Just a bit more. And give it a few more hits. Get back here! Give it a few more hits, and he's done. Achievement unlocked. Diffused. The lights of Elysium shine upon me. But can they reach the darkness within you? What are you? Among the last of a dying breed. A once proud race extinguished by your hands. My hands? <clears throat> you and your warm blooded kin. We moonbots were outcast, scattered to the wind. You. And others like you, they came to my village, killed my family. I, I didn't... I can't remember. <sighs> there is sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt. It is loss. After all you've done to my kind, you still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? He even murdered his own kind. Our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no! Wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust. Dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Dias. Well, hopefully we'll find out who this Gaius character is later, but... Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. So, if we press RB now, we can cycle through the available projectile types, and we can do stuff like this. Mm, wrong button. Do this. But we also have a skill gem available. Let's invest it in attack. Alright. That appears to be all we're going to be doing for the time being, though. Hmm. More monsters. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, Ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no pleasing some people. 
It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Well, it's back to our way of killing enemies. Even if they were by looks of it uses children. But for now, what we wanna do is we wanna get out of here. There appears to be an exit to the world map to the But there also appears to be some stuff down here. Can we do something here? That's the question. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you save. As said, yes. These are challenge areas. I'm not going to be going into it just yet. Basically, there are little gauntlets that you have to go through. We'll be going through those later, but he says be prepared. We are by no means prepared. So let's just get out of here. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Who that character is, we'll hopefully find out later, but for now, let's head back to Aurora Village. And let's go ahead and see what the mayor has to say. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no, that could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm, a moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not... personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. Tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Let's go see what Ginger has to say. Maybe we can get some more information. I would hope so, at least. But one thing we should do, actually. Sorry, I don't mean to quest too to... much. But the item we needed were these beast spears, but looks like he doesn't have enough in stock. Do we have anything new to sell? I always have to check this whenever we go to Nope. You honor Thank you. We'll be coming back later when shops restock. But for now, oh, looks like we have another quest. Oh, dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. 
Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Got some XP, but we also have another quest. Lost time. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius' soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Just can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius's soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. We were told that you're leaving town. Could you please explain to us why? Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Could you give us some more information about the war? Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Where can we find General Gaius? If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! What 
is this? You've been poisoned? When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. This does get us into the poison, though. This is why I was saying you want mushrooms. Use one, your poison's healed. We're gonna need them. A lot. And that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Alright, let's find out what exactly was happening, because... It can't really be what you would call good. Before we do that, we did get a quest. Oh, what do you have to say? <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything alright? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness! She must be alive! She must have escaped! Please, let me see it! What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the scream? He just goes... Fourth wall breaking, but anyways, we have a quest updated. We're gonna take out a few quests before we head... go do some investigating. There was... I thought it was a slime for a second, I'm, I'm crazy. But, there was another quest... Let's actually talk to you. See what you have to say. It's an interesting outfit you're wearing. Oh, you're one to talk. Can your friend even see from under that hat? He can see everything. It's spooky, really. No reason to get defensive. Just trying to help. Still get some nice experience by talking to them, so might as well talk to them. Thanks so much for your help. Please, make yourselves at home. How are you two holding up? Don't worry about us. I'm in no rush to take on a giant, but I think we're in the clear. Got more experience, and let's go ahead and pay a visit to that guy. Huh. Hello. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think, is so. all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. It's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really. You don't know how much this means to me. And with that, we've leveled up. Let's go ahead and invest that skill point. I'll invest in defense. And that will probably about do it for this episode. Next time on Dust and Elysian Tail. Well, let's go ahead and see what side quests we can do. And once we're done with that, let's head on down to do some investigating. See you guys then.